So one of the biggest problems many college graduates and young professionals are facing today is not opportunity, it's crushing student loan debt. A lot of people have jobs, sure, they got a college degree, they might have a job, but it's an entry level job. But here's a the problem, they're living paycheck to paycheck in spite of the college degrees. Now many jobs do require a college degree, especially if you're in the STEM career paths, science, technology, engineering, and math. And also I wanna add in legal, you're obviously required to have a college degree. But the purpose of this video though, is to discuss do I need these degrees to be financially free? Is it a college degree is simply just an expensive rubber stamp to say, I'm available, I'm free, hire me, so therefore I can be financially independent one day. Rather than a college degree enhancing the prospects to find a job, to be more marketable, to say, man, I could have a job that's paying me six figures. What many people today are facing is the opposite. I've got six figure debt versus a six figure job. So in this episode of the Seven Figure Squad, we're gonna go over 10 examples of millionaires who also became billionaires without requiring and needing a college degree. So stay tuned, grab your notes. This episode coming to you right now. So it's crack and everybody. Money smart guy, Matt Cipolla here, hailing to you from my Oak Brook headquarters, which is a direct west suburb of downtown Chicago. And if you haven't done so already and you haven't subscribed to the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel, make sure you do that right now. Make sure you also click notification to be alerted the next time we upload our next video as we journey towards 10,000 subscribers. And many of you know, for those who've been returning and watching this video, I am about to give you, one of you, one of you guys, a custom pair of Michael Jordan shoes from my address to you with your brand, your name, your logo on those custom pair of shoes. Once we cross 10,000 subs, I'm gonna give somebody who's been watching my videos, dropping comments, constantly engaged, constantly giving me feedback. I wanna give somebody here those pair of custom Jordans once we cross 10,000 subs. So make sure you subscribe. So college used to guarantee that if you get a degree, you're gonna have a decent paying job once you graduate. I mean, that's been the mantra, right? I remember reading the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Robert Kiyosaki had two father figures. One father figure was his real dad, right? Japanese born, he was Japanese born American, raised in Hawaii. And his dad said, his rich, so I'm saying, his poor dad said, his real dad said, go to school, get good grades, so therefore you can get a job to be financially secure for the rest of your life. That's who he considered his poor dad, his real dad, his DNA dad. But his rich dad, who's his best friend's father, said, you know what? Go and live your life, figure out what you want to do, figure out who you want to become and build a business that buys assets to fund the lifestyle you want to live. That's who we consider his rich debt. And if you haven't done so already, my biggest recommendation book for you that changed my perspective on this topic right now, considering everything that we got to go through is that book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, to unlock, to say, you know what? It's okay to start thinking differently than everybody in your friends and family. It's okay to say, you know what? I want to be financially free and maybe the route to going through college to get that degree may not be the only route to become financially free. Chris, here's what I was seeing. Many people are graduating colleges today and they don't have a job lined up after graduating college. And if they do have a job lined up after college, it isn't sufficient enough to pay their living expenses as well as a massive amount of student loan debt they have to repay six months after gradu graduating college. It's just too massive for them to get ahead financially. Many people that go up to this mantra saying, you know, you need a college degree to become successful. You need a college degree to become successful. You need a college degree to become successful. That simply today isn't true. I think as time goes on, it, we're starting to realize that simply having a college degree isn't a stamp to say, you know what, you're gonna be financially successful and gonna be financially free and financially independent for the remainder of your life. That's simply not true. So people are saying, do I invest in going to college or do I invest into self-development, personal development, pro professional development without going through the college route. If I'm gonna have 100 grand going somewhere, am I might have 100 grand going to an institution or, 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 or a college, or do I potentially have this $100,000 or whatever you spend in college, whatever you're budgeting for college, do I invest into myself in going to business for myself? Which of these two should I choose? And for example, I've got three older kids. One's 24 years old, my son Ruben, and I have twin girls that are 18 years old. And truth be told, they asked me that question. Papi, should we go to college? And here's my thing. Babe, you have to reconcile what it is that you want to do. Don't, tell, don't base it based on what you want me to tell you or what your friends and family are doing too as well, the other parts of your family are doing too as well, what your peer group saying at the college or the counselors and the powers that be that you are around while I'm not around. 
you gotta figure out what you want. But here's the thing, it seems like it's a crazy thing to go against the grain, to go against the current and say, you know what, I can be financially free without a college degree. So I'm gonna give you 10 examples of people that did not require a college degree to become millionaires, and in many of these cases, billionaires. So first example of somebody that did not require a college degree to become successful. Number one, Bill Gates. His net worth is in excess of $77 billion. He started a company called Microsoft. Gates made his money in the tech industry and today is the world's largest personal computer company. His business was a key player in the microcomputer revolution of the 70s and the 80s. He was known as the world's richest man until 2017 when Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, surpassed him. He still is well known as a philanthropist and even with the title of the richest man of the world, he's doing very well for himself. And in fact, in 2009, Bill Gates pledged to leave half of his wealth to philanthropy. Number two, Ralph Lauren. Immigrants and originally from the Bronx, he created his clothing line. He spent two years at the Baruch College in Manhattan before dropping out and joining the army where he served for three years. Once he left the army, he worked at Brooks Brothers as a sales assistant. Lauren was 28 years old when he worked for Bo Brummel, the tie manufacturer, and he convinced Brummel to allow him to start his own line. The Ralph Lauren Corporation started in 1967 and it was focused on men's ties at the time. A year later, Lauren started Polo and in 1969, Bloomingdale sold his line exclusively. In 1971, this iconic Polo logo made his first debut on the women's line and first then it has become a fashion staple. His net worth at the end of 2019 is estimated at $6.3 billion. No college degree. Number three, Steve Madden, another fashion icon. He went to the University of Miami and dropped out due to his partying lifestyle. You don't say. He started his own company in 1990 with only $1,000 in his bank account, and since then, he has built an empire. He started out selling shoes out of the trunk of his car and now runs a successful fashion company that has expanded beyond shoes to include clothing and other lifestyle products. There are a few bumps in the road as his tie to Stratton Oakmont, the Wolf of Wall Street, his fraudulent dealings, and served 41 months in prison. However, after being released, the company rebounded and successfully built back up the brand's profitability. He is currently estimated at the end of 2019 to be worth over $300 million. Number four, Steve Jobs. Now, who wouldn't leave this guy, especially off this list of college dropouts? Jobs spent less than a year in college before dropping out and co-founded Apple in 1976, releasing the Apple I. A year later, the company released Apple II, one of the first highly successful mass-produced microcomputers. This is the original product that led to the fame and fortune that Apple is built on. The continued innovation and revolutionizing of technology from the iPod to the iPhone to the iPad has solidified Apple's position as a giant in the tech industry and Steve Jobs' name is forever tied to the brand. Sadly, Steve Jobs died in 2011 and at the time of his death, his net worth was estimated in excess of $10 billion. Number five, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg revolutionized technology the way the world connects and social media with his creation of Facebook. Built and refined his own Harvard dorm room, Zuckerberg dropped out during his sophomore year to run the company. Zuckerberg actually had job offers before he decided to attend Harvard. Like many other people, he opted to go the traditional route and to pursue getting a college degree. However, with the breakout success of Facebook, he wound up choosing to run the company rather than complete his college degree. Facebook was originally designed for just colleges but eventually expanded worldwide. As of 2019, Mark Zuckerberg's net worth is estimated to be over $70 billion. No college degree. Number six, Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray is a celebrity chef and talk show host. Her success started when she pioneered that idea of 30 minute meals for people who are too busy to cook. She has no formal training and dropped out of Pace University after two years to save money and work. Working at a gourmet food store in New York City is where she got her big break. Her classes were picked up by a local television newscast and eventually led her to a contract with the Food Network. Since then, she's written 27 cookbooks and received two Emmys. Ray's net worth is estimated in 2019 to be in excess of $60 million. Number seven, Arash Fidowsi. Arash Fidowsi is a co-founder of Dropbox, which is a technology that we use with inside our company. He literally dropped out the last semester of MIT, one of the most prolific colleges and institutions of learning here in America. He was studying electrical engineering and computer science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Dropbox is a file hosting service headquartered in San Francisco that offers cloud storage, file synchronization, and as well as client software. It allows people to collaborate across companies and projects and has become a critical business tool. His net worth at the end of 2019 is estimated to be in excess of $500 million. Again, without a college degree and dropped out in his last semester. I mean, what are you telling your friends and family when you do something like that? Hey mom, dad, my net worth is over $500 million. Number eight, Matt 
Mullenweg. If you've been surfing the web and hopped onto somebody's website or blog, chances are if you've experienced some of Matt Mullenweg's work. The founder of WordPress, he developed a free and open source web software that makes website development accessible to developers everywhere. He's only 19 years old at the time that CNET recruited him to work on their tech, and his technology now powers about 22% of the internet. Matt has an estimated net worth at the end of 2019 in excess of 400 million dollars, all without a college degree. Number nine, Daniel Ek. He's the one who discovered and founded the streaming service called Spotify. Daniel Ek was attending the KTH Royal Institute of Technology before dropping out to focus on his IT career. He only attended eight weeks of college and founded Spotify as a response to the illegal streaming services such as Napster that were constantly being shut down. His vision was to create a service that allowed for music sharing better than illegal sites while compensating the music industry as it needed to be compensated. X net worth is estimated to be over 1.6 a billion dollars, not bad, after eight weeks of higher education. Number 10, Sir Richard Branson. Now, Richard Branson is probably one of the most prolific and most recognized billionaires in the world. Now, he dropped out of college not because of an idea, but because he struggled with dyslexia and poor academic performance. This could have easily sealed his fate as a failure, but he developed his first business instead. His first business was Student Magazine, which he built at 16 years old, and in 1970, he created a mail order record retailer that has evolved into the Virgin Group. The Virgin Group consists of over 400 companies today, including Virgin Atlantic Airlines, the Virgin Records music label, and Virgin Galactic, a company poised to be on the cutting edge of space tourism. He was knighted in 2000 for services to entrepreneurship and in 2018, he was valued at an estimated $5.1 billion. Now, he's the one who advocates for people thinking outside of the box, thinking they need to go to college versus taking their time and talents into entrepreneurship. Now, in every one of these cases, these entrepreneurs realize the value of time to put into the idea to develop into a business. And when you're creating something new, you know, in schools, they don't teach you everything you need to know to build your own business, because chances are, you're a pioneer and trailblazing a new path, of which hasn't been a case study in colleges yet. Now, choosing to go to college can be a very valuable investment in yourself, but thinking that you need to go to college to be one day financially free and financially independent, to say that I can make an impact only through a college degree, that's simply untrue. Now, here's one thing you have to factor in. The rising cost of college is getting people to rethink, really, the value of a college degree. So if you're watching this video and you're trying to process whether or not a college degree is the ultimate pathway to become financially free, or to become a millionaire, you're very, very smart in thinking intelligently about your future. The last thing I want you to do is thinking that to blindly assume that a college degree is the only path to get to where you want to go, at least financially. However, if you're entering an industry where you are in, in a science or technology or engineering or math or legal profession, by all means, go get that college degree because in those fields, it is practically required. But if you're just going to school just for the sake of going to school, pump the brakes there's other routes for you. Don't think you gotta do that just to satisfy and succumb to the status quo. I hope after watching this video, you're inspired to say, you know what, there's so many examples out there of people who went through the route of no college degree that built businesses that impact my life today, all without a college degree. What's to say you can't be the next one? So that being said, I got a few questions for you to ask yourself and to help you process the issue. Do I go to college? Do I pursue my entrepreneurial dreams and desires? Do I follow my gut? Do I follow my instinct? Or do I follow peer pressure or family pressure to go to college? So here's those questions. Number one, why am I going to college to begin with? Why am I doing it? Number two, what do I want to do and what do I ultimately want to accomplish? Number three, am I going to college simply because it's family pressure, peer pressure, or everybody in my class is graduating going to college type of pressure? And is what do I want to become really going to require me to have a college degree? Next question, is the income I'm going to generate from the job after going to college with student loan debt? justify the means for me to get a college degree to pay for these student loan bills and student loan debt in addition to my living expenses. And last but not least, if business is the route, if entrepreneurship is the route by avoiding a lot of student loan debt, can I find an entrepreneur? Can I find a mentor that I can literally work for free or work for very little pay to shadow them in the current business to help understand myself, the words of business and the world of entrepreneurship? Can I find that opportunity? Because I'd rather you work for free and have some form of side jobs to work and live on very little than you going to student loan debt and you paying money on top of money in the forms of interest to something that you can't afford to pay down the road and say, you know what, I regret doing that to begin with. And I hope you found value from this video. Please drop your thoughts 
comments, feedbacks. I really would love to see what you guys are thinking in, in the comment section below. So drop them down below and I might use one of your questions in a future episode to respond to your question based on the comments I see below this video. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Seven Figure Squad. Hit notification, be alerted the next time we upload our next video. And I remind you, when you cross 10,000 subscribers from me to you, I'm selecting a random winner who's been a very good commenter, very involved in our Seven Figure Squad community. And from my desk to your address, I'm making for you a custom pair of Michael Jordan shoes with your logo, with your brand, whatever you want on it. We're gonna hook it up as a thank you for helping us cross over 10,000 subs from my office to your address. That being said, thanks for tuning in, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.